Greetings history aficionados. Welcome back to another episode of History Addicts. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and dive into our fascinating historical adventures. Today, we're embarking on an extraordinary journey across oceans and cultures, following the footsteps of a unique figure from the Far East who found himself walking the cobbled streets of Rome. Welcome to the story of Hasekura Suninaga, the Japanese samurai who visited Rome. Let's dive in. Our story commences in the year 1613, in the land of the rising sun. Our protagonist, Hasekura Rokuman Suninaga, was not your everyday samurai. A vassal of the powerful regional lord Date Masamune, Hasekura was known for his valor and diplomacy, skills that would be crucial in the mission he was about to undertake. Date Masamune, intrigued by the outside world and with an ambition to establish trade links, gave Hasekura a task that was as formidable as it was historic. This assignment, called the Kicho Embassy, had the dual purpose of setting up trade relations and negotiating terms for Christian missions in Japan. Yet, the mission Hasekura was assigned wasn't a straightforward diplomatic endeavor. The complexity of it was hinted at by the vastness of the journey itself. It was a voyage that would take him from the shores of Sendai in Japan, across the vast Pacific Ocean, through the lands of New Spain in modern-day Mexico, further onwards to the kingdoms of Europe, and finally, to the beating heart of Christendom, Rome. What propelled this voyage was a large ship called the Date Maru, or San Juan Bautista, an impressive 500-ton galleon built by Date's order. Laden with gifts and letters for foreign leaders, the ship carried Hasekura, 180 samurai retainers, sailors, interpreters, and Father Luis Sotelo, a Franciscan friar, who was the catalyst for this unprecedented expedition. This was not just a journey across oceans but a significant leap across cultural divides, a voyage into the unknown that promised riches or ruination. For Hasekura, it was a mission that would place him in the annals of history. Facing perilous sea journeys, cultural shocks, and political intricacies, Hasekura Tsunanaga remains a figure of stoic endurance and adaptability. His journey offers fascinating glimpses into the early 17th century world, a time of exploration, expansion, and clashing cultures. Evidence of Hasekura's journey, like his baptism in Spain and the audiences he had with the Pope in Rome, gives us rare insights into this cross-cultural encounter. The records highlight the respect and curiosity Hasekura commanded in these alien lands. Despite the ambiguous results of his diplomatic mission, Hasekura Tsunanaga left an indelible mark in the places he visited. From Mexico, where a statue commemorates his voyage, to Rome, where his portrait still hangs in the Doria Pamphil Gallery, his memory lives on. Hasekura Tsunanaga's journey stands as an extraordinary testament to the interconnectedness of our world, long before globalization became a household term. His story, a remarkable intersection of cultures and faiths, continues to fascinate us, centuries later. From the samurai courts of Japan to the papal halls of Rome, Hasekura Tsunanaga's journey is indeed a fascinating tale of courage, resilience, and the endless possibilities of cross-cultural exchanges. If this story intrigued you, remember to hit that like button, share the video with your fellow history enthusiasts, and subscribe for more enlightening journeys into our shared past. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.